Hi, my name is Lee, and this is The Usual Scene. We're filming in the morning, so it will be a little bit noisy outside. I'll do my best to remove the background noise, but I can't really promise you that. And today we have a new member of the team. We're, we're now a two-man team, so somebody's behind that camera, and that's really, really awesome. So for this week, we've decided to go back to a topic that I really love talking about, and it is photography. Let's restart our photography talks with your hipstamatic. So what is hipstamatic? Hipstamatic is an application that can give you or that can replicate the effects of a film camera and a vintage one at that. It allows you to select your films. It would also select you to, or it would also allow you to select your um, lenses and flashes um, into the actual application. So it's an application like no other. But sadly, as of the moment, it's not available for Android. Hipstamatic had been created back in 2009 by Brian Dorshorts and Lucas Boick. And I think it had seen its um, heyday in 2012. After five years, a lot of people are still asking if Hipstamatic would still be getting updates and whatnot. But I can assure you, it's already 2021. It still is getting updates. I started using Hipstamatic back in 2012. And I can show you now right here some of the photos that I took and edited using Hipstamatic. And now, let's go on your app tour. More than pretty pictures, Hipstamatic offers experience. It allows you to experience an analog camera in a digital format. It has two interfaces and it defaults to the film camera. Best viewed in landscape, this view shows you a preview of the subject. It has a green indicator to let you know it is ready to take your photo. The default image layout is square and just like your normal film camera, on the side, you will see the film that you are using and with that big shutter button, you can't miss taking a photo. To complete the experience, you may manually set the shutter speed, control the flash with high, low, or off, and even do a multiple exposure shot without having to load or rewind the film in your camera. Isn't that great? Now tap the curve arrow and this will show you the front face of your camera. With a large hipstamatic branding, you'll also have a visual of the flash and a viewfinder on the side. To give you the full analog experience, you can change the lens by swiping left or right. Changing films is as easy as tapping the film button, swiping up and down until you can find the film you would like to use. You can also select the type of flash and even change the skin of your camera. In this interface, you cannot use your front-facing camera. For users who would like to have more control over the photo that they are taking, the digital camera interface would be best. In this view, you can select the aspect ratio or size, control the level of the flash, and even use the front camera of your phone. To add that really manual experience, you can tap the M button and this will give you access to the shutter speed, ISO, exposure, zoom, focus, and temperature. This view uses presets for the film, lens, and flash, and easily accessible by tapping the three circle icon. Now that you've taken your photo, we can view it on the photo viewer. This viewer can show you the metadata information of the photo either by tapping on the information button or simply looking at the bottom of the photo. A social media share counter is also available on your information page. 
The viewer has action buttons down below for deleting, adding to favorites, editing, printing, and sharing. Tap the three circle icon to enter your edit mode. Hipstamatic saves two versions of your photos all the time. One with the effect applied and one without the effect applied. It's always up to you which one you would like to edit further. The edit mode would initially show you presets and to go into manual editing, you simply tap the setting icon. The initial four icons will allow you to select the lens, film, flash, and size. In selecting, I usually tap on the magnifying glass so I would be able to see the different effects on my photos right away. Also, Hipstamatic allows you to control how much of the effect should show on your photo. Tap the toolbox to access the photo editing tools like vignette, texture and grain, depth of field, temperature and tint, tone curves, fade, vibrancy, highlights and shadows, definition, clarity, exposure, and straighten. On the next episode, I'll show you how I select the films, the lenses, and the flashes that I would want on my photos. For now, here's a sample of the photo we just took and edited using Hipstamatic. Okay, so that is your Hipstamatic. Uh, and I'm sure that you've learned a lot more about it now. Would you want to try it? Let me know. In the next installation, I'll show you how I edit photos using Hipstamatic. Oh, you're on Android? That's fine. Here's a list of the applications that you can use that are very similar to Hipstamatic. Well, I think Snapseed is a really, really good application to look at if you want these effects. The only difference is Hipstamatic already packaged your effects as films, lenses, and your um, flash. Now, if you're asking, is Hipstamatic free? Um, Hipstamatic X, the new application, has a free trial. But Hipstamatic, the classic, is something that you have to purchase. And I can tell you it's your money's worth. I am still purchasing a lot of things on Hipstamatic and I am enjoying every second bit of it. So tell me if you want to try it out and watch out for the next installation of the Hipstamatic series. I'll show you how I pick out my lenses, how I pick out the films, and how I pick out the flashes. Thank you for spending your time with me today. My name is Lee and this is The Usual Scene.